Hello Taurus! Welcome to your reading Taurus. Let's see what messages will show up for you. What do we have for you Taurus? What do we have for you? We have winter. So December, January, February might be quite important for you those months. Taurus. We have regret. We have listen, cycle, healing, distance. Okay. Someone here is full of regret, Taurus. I'm getting someone regret. Someone regrets what they said. With this regret card and listen, they said something here and this person is full of regret. Now. They are aware that they made you feel sad. They are themselves very, very lonely. This is someone who is who is thinking about you, who's thinking about this past action, this last, you know, this something that happened, like a like a, the very last action of something like a situation, they're reminiscing about it. it. It's just like this person is keep on playing like a cassette, replaying this, 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 this conversation, this situation and how they handled it and they are not happy. They are full of regret. Now this person, I feel that there is a distance between the two of you. It can be a physical distance. But with the winter card, I'm getting here that um, you might have disconnected or distance yourself from this individual. Something here ended between the two of you. And lots of healing is attached to this situation because I feel that it was particularly... Um, difficult you are healing from it listen to your intuition Taurus because I'm getting here that this person will try to reach out something it's this is someone who has guilty conscious or this this thing it's constantly on their mind and it doesn't let them kind of fully move on I don't know, maybe this person wants to get closure, whatever the case might be here. They want to talk, okay? They want to talk about the situation. And Spirit is kind of with this listen card, they are advising you to hear what they are really saying, you know? To pay attention to their words, how they compose themselves, what they want to say, what they are really, really saying. But I'm getting here, Taurus, that this person really is thinking about you and thinking about what they have said or what they said to you, okay? And this past situation, they past actions, mm, they, are, they, they regret. <clears throat> they might present a completely different story for, for the outside world, but, but this is someone who deeply regrets, deeply inside, it's unhappy how they handle the situation. And you are healing. You are listening to your intuition. You're doing your work. There is a normal amount of work you put into yourself. I'm getting here, Taurus. There is acknowledgement of, 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 of certain things. Acceptance. Higher understanding. Distance. For some of you, you might be thinking of relocation. Or relocating, I should have said. Long distance. There is a distance. There is a distance between you and this person. I'm getting physical distance, emotional distance as well. We'll see. We'll see. Could you please show me overall energy for Taurus? Mm -hmm. Four of Swords. So there is no communication. You are healing here, Taurus. It might be a case that you decide that, you know, to be very selective with your energy. You kind of withdraw your energy with regards to certain people and certain situations. You took a step back in order to recharge your batteries. King of Swords. You might be dealing with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus. Emperor. Ooh, you're taking back control big time. Might be dealing with Aries, Eight of Cups. Yeah. You walking away. 
something here doesn't make you happy and I'm getting you making a stand you are making a decision you possess certain amount of clarity about something about certain situation and you might came into conclusion that it's not good enough or it doesn't make you happy therefore you might have you might decide or you might have already decided that you want to disconnect you want to distance yourself you want to walk away you want to let go of certain people or situations that no longer might serve a purpose in your life very firm energy this is what i want i possess clarity i have all my all all, all facts that i need i i took this um situation i thought about it i took it seriously and this is what i want to do this is what i'm getting here for someone what else we have for taurus please six of cups ten of cups hermit you might be dealing with virgo someone feels very nostalgic about you taurus this someone who is full of regret. Yeah, they're coming back. Mm -hmm. Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Someone here feels very determined, deeply inside, to express some sort of form of the truth that they have. They want to explain themselves. But you're dealing here with someone who might have a quick temper and they speak before they think with the Knight of Swords. Nevertheless, you can expect this person to reach out. Six of Cups, Ten of Cups, uh, that shows me that you might have, that, that um, you might have been in a relationship with this person. For some of you, it might be your ex-partner, ex-husband, ex-wife, your ex in general. Six of Cups next to the Ten of Cups, it shows a uh, energy of 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 a relationship okay for some of you this is um children might be involved in this situation yeah with the hermit i'm getting very strongly that for some of you maybe at the moment you are having a quiet days with this person or there is no communication between the two of you however judgment this person wants to resurrect this connection so after the period of silence you can expect them coming back around and try to talk about the situation this person sees you as an emperor divine masculine uh, energy but this is energy okay so so this is someone they sees you as someone who is very stable who is very reliable um, who who is in control I'm getting here Taurus that uh, I don't know for, for this person you are like um like a symbol of stability you might be divine masculine you know Taurus and your ex-partner sees you as someone who with whom they can have this stability but things uh, it might be a case that that things didn't work out you had enough and you walked away the thing is that um, if you are divine masculine okay this this your ex-partner or your wife or your husband they do want to um they want to hear reconcile with you okay i'm getting very strong divine masculine energy for some of you if you are divine feminine energy taurus this person sees you as someone who's very stable who means business you know who who they can very ambitious very in control and they acted here very in a very foolish way, Taurus. Because all of us, we have both divine masculine and divine feminine energy. 
this is just to kind of for the readers i guess in the tarot to distinguish sometimes the energies but this is all energy okay but they see you as a very kind of a person who with whom they can have stability stability is coming forward very strong long-term commitment i'm getting here for some of you this is someone who you were in a relationship you even it might be a case that you were married to this person children are involved there will be a chance for both of you to reconcile if you were not married to this person this is some sort of form of relationship that you had with them but indeed this is an energy of an ex of your ex that is showing up here for you taurus okay taurus now i will clarify your reading okay so please take what resonates and how it resonates for your situation if this reading doesn't resonate with you that's absolutely fine i will be posting in another reading for your sign in about three four days so please feel free to check this reading as well also please check your other placements and only if you have a wish please check the other readings this is a general reading collective reading for your sign taurus sun moon rising venus and north node Cross watcher, you are very much welcome, but um, please take a note that it might play from your perspective so the roles can be switched. So you might feel that this is your story, this is your reading, this is how you feel, and Taurus might be involved in that situation. This is how this reading can be, this message can be, can be read by you. Okay, so let's clarify your reading here, Taurus. Why the Four of Swords? Why the Four of Swords? We have a Six of Swords. Mm -hmm. Four of Pentacles. Okay. Star, you might be dealing with Aquarius Taurus. I have Nine of Swords. This person give you a, this person gave you a headache. You see, Taurus, I'm seeing you moving into calmer waters, into calmer times, in a peaceful times. However, with the Four of Pentacles and the Star, I feel that you still think about this person. I, I'm going to be honest here. You are healing from this situation. This, 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 with the Nine of Swords, someone here caused so much anxi anxiety, stress, worry. The situation was exhausted. For some of you, you might have disturbed sleep patterns. So it's something to maybe to it's worth paying attention to, Taurus. But um, yeah, it was very draining. It's showing me a very draining here situation that you decided to kind of detach with the Six of Swords to heal with the Four of Swords. Nine of Swords. Mm -hmm. very difficult it was very very challenging difficult with the four of pentacles and the star you see this is what i'm getting i'm getting the deeply inside stories you might still be hopeful that things can change that things can be healed between you and this person because energetically i'm getting you and this person are still connected to each other Also, it cannot be ignored that this person has regrets. This is my card of guilty conscious. Someone here has a guilty conscious and it's this person. They are still attached to you. With the Four of Pentacles, this is someone who doesn't want to let you go. With the Star, they are full of hope that things can get better, that things can be healed between you and them okay but i'm seeing you here making a clear decision that you see this is something like it's giving me okay it's giving me this kind of energy of i'm choosing more clarity than my heart therefore because when i look at this energy is is, is i'm seeing you very kind of this is what i want i possess uh, you know clarity of thought I, I have all the details, I have all the facts, 
and as much as yes i might still have feelings for this person and i might still deep inside my still kind of you know part of me might be thinking it would be nice if things could have been different or if it would be nice if 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 we could kind of you know meet in the middle or find a resolution and heal this connection i'm seeing you choosing a reason over heart at the end of the day okay oh, all right <laughs> yes this is what i was getting very strongly with the six of of swords four of swords king of swords because we have many energy we have a strong energy of swords and a sword represents in tarot logic rational uh, clear thinking clarity facts and i'm feeling that's how you kind of making a stand based on facts here that it is better for your well-being to kind of detach however you know deep inside you might still be hopeful that you know or might be thinking that it would be nice if things could be, could have been different and if there would be a possibility to change the situation queen of pentacles this is a loving nurturing energy wanted to show up mm. someone doesn't want to let you go here taurus we have two we already have two queens taurus so choice between two people is showing up okay because they want to talk so let them talk why the eight of cups there you go we have a queen of swords we have four of wands wow you might be dealing with Aquarius Taurus we have a match you have someone hmm. there is someone Taurus that you feel a very strong that you share very strong soul connection there is a strong bond between the two of you this is someone who who is very s similar to you when it comes to a logic it's like a, you know it's like an energy of soulmate four of wands you might be dealing with a twin flame justice libra energy yeah you might be dealing with libra gemini aquarius i have very strong aquarius actually eight of cups is clarified by the queen of swords and four of wands it might be a case taurus for some of you that um there is a, an individual there is a person taurus that you have feelings you you, sh you have feelings for this person but you decided to walk away from from this individual because that person might have already be in a relationship somewhere else okay they might have they they stability somewhere else or they might be in relationship with someone else here and you've decided to kind of drop this uh, this wish really of yours and to just walked away from that situation because um they might be get you might be this person represented here by the queen of swords uh, represents someone who is uh, who have who who has a tendency to be quite firm, quite logical, and also quite cold. <laughs> they might be acting that way. Okay, I feel that, that this person, at some point, gave you a cold shoulder. They pushed you away. The thing is that there is. I feel that you you share a very strong soul connection with them but you might again there is this kind of throughout this reading so far there is a theme you choosing uh, logic over heart there is something that you had to kind of resign from it because it was the right thing to do with the justice because this person already is in a different relationship here it doesn't change the fact that you would like to be with them but that was a right thing to do mm -hmm. 
so why the six of cups why the six of cups I can tell you one thing here Taurus this person is is also would like to be in a relationship with you okay because this queen of swords she has this four of swords here and she is not showing it this is someone who has very strong kind of tough exterior you know but deeply inside they would like to be with you however they might have already uh, some sort of form of stability somewhere else so the six of cups here is clarified by the justice okay by the six of cups for taurus by the six of cups for taurus the lovers my gosh temperance there is an opportunity taurus you have all major arcana there is an opportunity to heal a certain connection okay I'm getting here two people, Taurus. One that you might have been involved for some time, but things just didn't work out. Okay. And for some of you, this is your ex. There is opportunity here, Taurus, to heal connection. It might be a case that you are divorced uh, from this person or you are in the middle of divorce. Or divorcing them something to do with the legal situation however I'm getting here that there will be a chance for both of you um, to kind of work on the situation six of cups justice lovers temperance this is a major energy of healing for some of you you um, it might be your ex you there was a completion happened between the two of you but things can come back can you know the whole situation uh, can be healed because this person that your ex here your partner that you had some sort of relationship re re real relationship like family or marriage or long-term commitment here they they coming back Taurus they want to resurrect connection and with the six of cups we have the judgment they really they really showing up here trying to make an effort to kind of a come back to you know for both of you to come back together you will have a choice but i see here opportunity taurus to heal this connection to come back essentially to your ex because this is someone who might say listen we have a family together let's try again that it won't resonate with all of you it can be a case for someone or cross watcher that's what Taurus will tell you you know but there is a possibility to heal this connection connection that uh, had it natural or reached its natural completion cycle right cycle ended here with the justice to the lovers it might be a case that you are divorced or you're in the middle of divorce or you are finalizing divorce but i'm getting very strongly here taurus that things can work out between the two of you this person it's coming back they want to be uh, they want to be hurt by you as a they have here something to say and they want to reconcile you might be dealing with libra i have very strong gemini sagittarius energy scorpio aquarius another taurus leo okay so we have many signs but this is like major because we have all major arcanas here taurus so there is a chance to heal connection from the past okay to heal connection with your ex this is someone you were in a relationship with i'm not seeing here a relationship with this person no it, it is it i'm getting here like a thing something that you know yes you share here with this person maybe you were in touch with them something like this but it never really had a chance to fully kind of manifest into a relationship that is a different story 
this is someone with whom you had relationship with and this person wants to come back and heal this connection you will have a choice <laughs> so why the judgment for Taurus Queen of Wands yeah you might be dealing with Sagittarius Leo Aries why the judgment why the judgment for Taurus seven of cups you will have options enough Taurus We have a Hierophant, your energy, Taurus, Eight of Swords, a Five of Swords. Hmm. Okay. This is very complex read. You know, it's quite complex. It presents quite complex situation. So this judgment is clarified by the Queen of Wands, Seven of Cups and a Hierophant. Yes, yeah, someone here wants to, uh, wants to claim you, wants to have a long-term commitment. wants to marry you again Taurus for some of you it won't resonate with all of you for some of you this is like a be again in relationship but in a long-term relationship Queen of Wands Seven of Cups this is someone who confused you or cross watcher Taurus confused you they made you feel stuck. They played mind games. Mm. Yeah, I'm seeing you, Taurus, kind of contemplating, contemplating about it, thinking about it with the Seven of Cups. This Queen of Wands here, Taurus, she is very attractive. You know, she is very passionate, you know she she but she has a tendency to dominate this energy seven of cups i feel that this queen of wands this energy uh, promised you many things here but they didn't deliver for some of you a tradition here is very important with the hierophant something to do with tradition Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting very... Okay, Taurus, what I'm getting here is that it, you will eventually have to make a decision. Of course, what you have to make a decision here with regards to this, this, this person. But I'm getting uh, also very strongly, Taurus, that um, you don't want to be confused anymore. You kind of want making a stand. This is your energy. So I feel that you will, you will kind of listen to your inner voice. And for some of you, you might decide to kind of, uh, I don't know, to refuse, to reject this person. Because I'm getting here that this person at the time, they made you feel stuck. Maybe this person's family made you feel stuck. They played here mind games with the Five of Swords and at the end you felt being played. There's a lot, so much confusion and mind games here attached to this Queen of Wands energy. You might be dealing with another Taurus as well. Yeah, this is a very difficult read. Because what I'm getting here is that someone is full of regret, okay? They regret how, how they handle situation, how things play out here, Taurus, between you and this person. In, in your energy, I'm seeing two different people. One, one person here, I'm getting a, that, that you were in relationship with. For some of you, you were married to this person. Children might be involved, but something here didn't work out. This person, this ex of yours, wants to make amends towards. They want to be with you. That's it. With this major arcana, big time. 
judgment. They want to resurrect this connection. They might come and say, can we try again? Children might be involved in that situation. But I'm getting very strongly that this, per this, this situation, person, this person's family, whatever the case might be here, Taurus, they confused you. They made you feel stuck while you were involved. And this Queen of Wands, particularly this energy here, very attractive, very good looking, very passionate, handsome or beautiful, very skillful with their words, uh, brought enormous amount of confusion. They promised you here lots of things, but they didn't deliver. What they gave you was the mind games. Someone very argumentative who, who likes to win by all costs. And as much as this person wants to come back and really heal this connection, you will have to make a choice. But I'm seeing you here, especially with this energy as well in there, being very focused on yourself, putting yourself first, taking back control and making this decision based on clarity. Again, facts. We have the strong energy of swords. And then we have here a completely different story. Someone with whom I feel that you were not fully in a relationship, but you had a thing with them or something, you know, like going on. There was a, maybe you were in touch with this person, but I feel that at some point you withdraw your energy. Okay. Four, four, four. I have very strong, um, Oh my gosh, I have 444 angel number and 666 angel number as well. It, don't get spooked with the 666 because it's, 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 not, it's nothing wrong, you know, it's not like <laughs> that energy, no, 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 no. But it's worth checking those numbers. Or you might see many synchronicities here. You share with this person here. You might be dealing with an air sign, Taurus. A very strong soul connection, but something he didn't really, you know, had the opportunity to, to, to kind of blossom into something serious between the two of you. And I'm seeing you kind of, you made some sort of decision here to detach. To detach from that individual. This person is, 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 you might be dealing with Aquarius. We have to start. This is Aquarius. But this person, it's still, they are still thinking about you, Taurus. And it might be, it might be a case that you are not in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, there is no contact situation between the two of you. Okay. With the four of swords, six of swords, eight of swords. Yeah. It's like a walking away and healing four of pentacles. The, this person is still thinking about you and I feel that you are still thinking about them as well with the star I'm getting this energy if there was a chance for us to uh, to kind of heal the situation or find a common ground I'm getting that you would like that this is someone who, with whom I guess you would want it to be in relationship here with the four of wands but this person might have already have their stability somewhere else with someone else. That's why you kind of, you know, you base your decision more of, a, of a, based on a reason and logic and, and facts than a heart. And you decided to kind of walk away from it and decided to, you know, to not be in touch with them. They are thinking about you. This queen of swords, she's, this energy she's thinking, it's thinking about you, let's say it that way. But I'm getting very strongly here, Taurus. Your ex who wants to reconcile with you. So we can expect some sort of communication. This person will try very hard to make amends with you. Okay. Taurus, I would leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you so very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Taurus, have a wonderful and fabulous day and once again thank you very much for being with me take care bye